Hi friends, hope y'all had a fabulous weekend. Today I'm gonna read you a story called Stan Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. This story was written by Patty Lavelle and illustrated by David Catro. This little girl right here is Molly Lou Mellon. It says, Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind, though. Her grandmother had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. So, she did. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind, though. Her grandmother had told her, smile big and the world will smile right alongside you. Right there, boys and girls, are her buck teeth. Buck teeth are teeth that stick out really far out front. So she did. And there's a really good picture of those buck teeth. Says Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind though. Her grandmother had told her, sing out clear and strong, and the world will cry tears of joy. Look at that silly Molly Lou Mellon. Even the frog is saying, stop. So she did, and she sang beautifully. Molly Lou Mellon was often fumble-fingered. She didn't mind, though. Her grandmother had told her, Believe in yourself, dear, and the world will believe in you, too. Look at that tall tower of plates. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Boing. She dropped them. So, she did. Look at her now. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. And she had to say goodbye to her grandmother and all of her friends. And she had to start a new school. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimp Roo in gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin, and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. Boys and girls, when you feel foolish, you feel silly. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. Molly Lou Mellon took out her pennies, stacked ten high on her teeth, and smiled as big as day. All of the children smiled with glee, and then Ronald Durkin felt foolish again. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick duck. Honk, honk. Molly Lou Mellon sang out a quack so clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon. And once again, Ronald felt very foolish. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd make the snowflake all wrong. But Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and awed, even Ronald. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. 
That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon.